Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. Uh, hope you uh, uh, have been enjoying the videos. And if it's your first time stopping by, I hope you find this one interesting. Uh, I actually had a request for a Cuban chain. And uh, really, it's kind of an unusual quest for me because I usually just go ahead and make them from scratch. I just pour an ingot and uh, uh, do run it through a draw, pray, draw plate to the thickness of wire I want, roll it around a rod, and then cut it all up, and then uh, uh, solder them together and s uh, spin it with a vise and uh, draw tongues. Uh, and then file it flat and uh, make my clasp and put it on there. Uh, but in the CAD, really, uh, there's, you only need to make one link uh, and then just make multiple of that one link uh, in, to make the bracelet, right? Uh, so really, keep that in mind. You only need uh, one link. Uh, so let's go to our line curve. Uh, I'll show using multiple links uh, get, in case you're just wanting it for uh, uh, you know a website or a, a render or something. Uh, so you just need a line out there, and actually you already have the link uh, in your uh, objects on curve. Uh, so we'll go to our objects on curve. We'll go to our library, uh, and then right here you have a, a link. Uh, so you just select that. Uh, go over here to orientation, uh, down, and then draw your uh, links out there. And then you want to uh, make the size, whatever size it is you're looking for. I'm just going to drag this out a little bit, make it bigger, easier to see. Uh, and then kind of get your spacing in line, all right, so that you have a little, uh, there you go, something like that. Uh, and then we'll just go ahead and hit enter. Uh, and there's pretty much your chain for the most part, right? Uh, now, it's just a normal chain link, right? So in order, in order to get that cut on there, it's real easy. Just grab a, a box and we'll change this to a cutting layer. And you just want to make a box the entire length of your bracelet. Uh, and you want to drag that over the top of your uh, chain so that it's all over the top of your chain. I'll drag it somewhere around here. It doesn't need to be that big, but there we go. We'll just make it a little smaller. All right. And then you want to uh, get it down. How far do you want to cut it, cut it into your uh, chain? You want to leave a good distance between one to the other, right? So just kind of drag it down. To, something like that where you're just cutting the tops off and then basically just mirror it from f4 uh holding down shift and they're they're sandwiched between the two cutters and then you just go to your solids uh go to boolean difference pick your chain hit enter and then the two cutting surfaces hit enter and then hit enter again and then hide your uh take your cutting layers and change them to another layer and hide them. And there's your curved chain. Uh, but again, you only need to make one link. Uh, and you got some good meat between there, those two. Uh, uh, well, that that thickness is, you know, decent. You got to be careful of that. Make sure that you have enough thickness there. But there, there's your uh, curved chain. Uh, yeah. And our Cuban chain, sorry. Uh, you know, it's got that cut. You can put some diamonds in there if the links are big enough or whatever. The only thing other other the only other thing is is uh, if you're doing it for render, you'll want to put a clasp on it. And there's two different ways. And again, you don't want to make any of these clasps uh, or end caps in uh, with the CAD and then print them. There's, it's you can just order them very very cheaply. Uh, uh, and then have and attach them so it's much easier to do it that way in my personal opinion just order them uh so what you need to do first is uh there's two different ways i guess to to put them on there one is the lobster claw and the other is a uh hidden box class those are usually two uh ways that these chains are put together it's the hidden box which is probably the best uh less expensive and easier is the lobster claw lobster claw all you do is you add uh, end caps on there and put an o-ring on and uh, end cap on this one and you're done uh end cap uh what i mean by end cap is it's it's just uh, something that kind of goes around here i'm sure you've seen them on 
bracelets before but let's let's go ahead and just kind of maybe draw one out uh you know let's get a circle uh let's turn off oh snap so we're not snapping anything and you, know, you can just make a, a little circle let's change that to yellow uh, make a little circle however big you want your end cap to be and again you don't want it overlapping that one but we can draw it out here uh, so we'll take it here and then we'll just kind of bump it out somewhere around here and then i'm just going to get a line and uh, kind of put a line out here something like this and then i'll just mirror it over to my other side uh, f4 hold down shift and then i'll go to my fillet and uh, go from this curve here to this one here and this one here to this one here All right and uh let's see uh we'll go to blend blends way down here we'll just grab this blend here and just do a little blend from these two here and there, there's your end cap uh so let's take all this and join it together and then let's take this and we'll split it with this and hit enter uh, and then we'll just get rid of this piece here delete and now we have a nice smooth round cap there right uh, and then we'll take this piece and this piece and join them together uh, and then from here uh, we'll go to our front and we need to drag that end cap up right or down either one i guess uh, and it they're very very thin usually uh pretty thin so we'll just put it somewhere like this and uh we'll uh extrude that up a little bit nope oh, sorry nope back we want to first go ahead and well we can do it on this side and then mirror it uh we'll go to solids and extrude extrude solid right uh and they're not very thin they're pretty i mean they're not very thick they're pretty thin uh and just do something like that and then take that or this surface here and mirror it over to our other side from uh, f4 holding down shift something like that right so we have uh, this here and that's kind of what the end cap looks like for the most part except it's closed right so what we can do is we can go up here let's change both those to uh, green all right and then uh, we can grab another line curve curve uh, and just kind of uh, go to the end there and we'll just do another trim and it'll be these surfaces here and we'll hit enter and then we'll just kind of drag it along there and cut all that off and hit enter and then take this curve and change it to that and we have uh, two open areas now you can try blend it didn't work for me too well on this one we have a big gap here but your jeweler will take care of that he'll file some down or he'll make it fit much better than what the renders going or what this is going to actually look like uh, but this is kind of what it looks like for the most part you can flatten that out a little bit um and then from here, let's see, uh, we'll just go down and it seems to work real easy this way from object. We'll go here and then I'll just kind of select those objects right there. And there, we grabbed a little too much here, so we don't want this. Hold down Alt, get rid of these things here. We just want that end. Get rid of these. there we go and we'll hit enter and then we'll join those together and make sure they're too closed yes eight curves joined to the two closed curves uh so there's two curves out there and they're yellow uh easiest way to do this part is just go to profile sweep now it'll take it out straight which is kind of a bummer uh but then you can uh adjust it however you want uh just give it a little bit more u it's they're usually a little u'd out there uh and then just kind of click on enter and then what i would do is uh you can go to your cage ed edit or you could have drawn it all out uh either way let's take this object we'll go to uh global no 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 i want well global i guess and uh, yeah, no i don't want that 
let's get rid of that uh let's go to my cage edit cage edit this surface here hit enter we want bounding box four 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 uh world's good count of four is good and we'll hit enter so we have all this right now you can select uh, you know all four all of these here hold down shift go to your box kind of tweak it in a little bit then you can kind of go in here and grab these next two line and tweak them in a little bit and then you can kind of grab this last one and tweak in it in a little bit so you kind of got what looks like uh your uh end cap right kind of looks like your end cap uh, you can make that more rounded or whatever. Uh, then you can just take those, join them together, close poly service, and then really what you need to do is you need to take one and hold down uh, Alt, and that'll give you a, a new one, right? Uh, and then we'll take this one and we will spin it uh, 180, and we'll just drag him right over this one here. So it's like that. So there's your uh, end caps, right? Uh, and the next thing you need to do is just bring in your lobster claw. And we'll just take that down to this side, side here. Uh, go to our top view. And we'll spin that uh, a 90. Oh, not 9, 990. Whoa, I wonder what that would do, spinning around. <laughs> uh, 180 and hit enter. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, we'll do a negative 90 now. There we go. And kind of get it uh, lined up to where, you know, it's where it needs to be. And again, you don't want to make this. Of course, you can't. Uh, it has a, a spring on the inside there to make the class work. So, uh, again, you can order them uh, very, very easily. So we have this out here, right? Uh, just go to your uh, solids. Uh, grab a torus somewhere in here don't use that one very much uh, and kind of just get an o-ring out here something like that perhaps and then make sure you got everything let's group that together while we're here okay. let's group this together and hit uh, enter so is it grouped of course not all right so human error there and we'll just kind of drag it out so it kind of looks like it's attached there right so there you go uh that's that's a very common way of uh attaching the the cuban uh putting a lobster claw on it but again you don't want to make that class you don't want to make that uh uh, claw class or lobster class and you don't want to make those end caps uh, or that o-ring uh, you just want to make one link and, and then order these from your uh, jewelry supply company and they they will come in they're pre-soldered usually all you have to do is heat them up and they attach right to the items and then add an o-ring and your uh, lobster claw and you are good to go uh, the, the other way uh, hidden class right uh so hidden class let's go ahead and get rid of this get rid of that get rid of this you don't need any uh end caps for uh hidden clasps uh hidden class uh, we'll keep this together all together for right now let's go ahead and take these and we want to just make it easy for ourselves and we're going to group them together uh so we have it all together uh and then we want to kind of drag it up spin it around we'll do a, a negative 90 maybe okay yeah, that's cool uh and kind of get it in our center of our item something like that and then maybe drag it over to one side now it's all together right now uh i think because <laughs> yeah it's yeah it's together all right uh so now we need to get it the only reason why i'm keeping it in its place is so that everything will uh be the same size so when we go move the one to the other size it will already be there uh so here you don't want to attach it like this of course it's way too big and then this you don't want like that so you want to make this one uh cut in half so uh you go to your line curve here uh and then just kind of maybe 
draw it straight through here and then select those two items. Well, you probably want to ungroup those. So we'll ungroup those and just get this one. Uh, take those items and we'll just do a trim. Uh, actually, it's probably easier if we uh, extrude this. And let's see, we want to go in here. Let's see, we extruded it that way. And let's extrude it this way. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Let's do it this way. Let's get rid of this yellow. Maybe. Uh, and get rid of that real quick. And we'll actually just get rid of that there too easier that this way we don't have to go back and cap anything just grab a solid a uh, box uh, and we'll do the same thing we did except this time we're just going to take it right through here something like this and then from this side we'll just drag it down and then we'll drag it straight up right so now we can just do a, a boolean difference much easier uh, go to our solids Let's go down boolean difference this will be our first surface enter this will be our second surface enter and we've got that and we'll hit enter get rid of this turn it to gray these are joined together ungroup them and get rid of that right and now we have a nice surface to be attached to this thing here and we need to make this a little smaller so let's go to our transform and go to scale scale 3d and we'll go from here and we'll just kind of scale it down to size and kind of drag it in so it's attached All right now you might want to make this a little bit larger uh, so uh, let's go ahead and ungroup this for right now because we have it the size we want right uh, Yeah, you'll you'll have to make this bar here a little bit larger. And is that solid? It kind of looks like it is. Is it join? I don't know. Let's take this and first let's ungroup it. And let's take our top there since we got to move that over to the other side and let's just drag it down to there. Uh, and then let's come back to this and let's do. Uh, I don't think it's an ungroup. I think they're all kind of maybe. Yeah. Uh, we'll explode it. Did it explode? Yeah, okay. Uh, so this is a little hinky, right? Uh, so let's, what if we got rid of that? Oh, then we have those openings. Well, that you have to do the redo the tubes and stuff. Uh, okay, uh, let's uh, go to our curves. Go to, uh, let's see from object we'll go here here oh there's a little piece there 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 and that little teeny piece nope that one yeah and then come over to this side and do the same thing this side looks like it's a little bit different yeah look at that Okay, it might be just easier to just redo those. So let's back out of that and let's just take this whole thing and just get rid of it. And get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Get rid of these little pieces. And we'll just go here and get rid of all this stuff too. Okay, we just have those. And anything, yeah, there's a little piece right there. All right. Uh, and check it out okay so uh really it's just grabbing another line and then going back and kind of uh kind of maybe from here over to here and then you can just put a uh, circle around it well actually i just go to a profile just get a profile uh so we'll go to uh, a tools and grab a profile and we'll make it, uh, well, first we'll spin it. And then we'll make it uh, something like that. And we'll drag that down. 
so it goes in there and make it something like that and we don't need it that wide we don't want it yeah we want it touching this so that's that's okay maybe and we'll hit uh, enter and we'll just do a profile sweep real quick uh surface one here sweep one i should say and something like that and we'll take that and we'll just make uh, we got to put those tubes on there so that'll be fine and we'll hit enter and enter and then we'll just cap it there we go yeah and now also we have to so it, now it has a good attachment right so you can adjust that and it's attached here too so we're, we're good to go on both sides we might after we uh, get everything together drag it back just a little bit but you'll need to put those little tubes on there again so we can go to, i think the solid and go to torus and kind of uh, look down in here we need to make one right here and then we need to Let's see, we'll have it opening something like that. And we want to drag it something like that, perhaps. Drag it up into place and make it a little thinner because it doesn't need to be that big. And we need to adjust it to the size of our uh, figure eight safety. Something like that, perhaps. And make it a little longer. And then drag it down. Right? So uh, we don't need to be that big, so we're going to hold down shift and kind of bring it in a little. And we'll make it bigger, something like that. And we'll kind of take this two here, and we'll just kind of bump it over a little bit. All right, so now it's... Did I cap that? I thought I did. Let's see if that'll cap. C-A-P. No, it won't cap. It's not solid, right? Oh, the cap went the opposite direction. Not on this side, though. Interesting. Okay, so uh, what we need to do over here, though, is kind of explode that again. Sorry. Uh, and then delete this. And then take that. And we'll just go to uh, Tools. Uh, cap Profile and drag that back to a zero and hit enter so that should be okay it says varies oh okay uh and join that and let's check it open poly service what oh this now it's All right, there we go. And really all you have to do now is actually you could go ahead and get rid of that one uh, and just mirror these two over. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that one and just take these two, mirror it, F4, hold down Shift. Boom, now you got them on both sides, right? There, There's that side, that side's done. And like I said before, uh, take this, 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 and this. And, you know, since we had a little gap there, you can just bring it back a little bit. And there, now you have a nice attachment right there. So that's one side, right? Something didn't move. Oh, let's see. There we go. All right. Oh, okay, because of the other side. All right, well, the, I mean, it's just for render, right? Uh, and then this side, again, uh, what we need to, oops, what we need to do is uh, drag it into place. Uh, so, oops, let's get it in the center there. Drag it so that it's going kind of underneath it. So it attaches something like that right there. Not so high, perhaps. 
drop her down. There. And again, you could, uh, you don't want to, uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, you, you know, you don't want to make, you want to make sure this one's still free to move it. This one will be solid on top of your, uh, item there, uh, or your, your box class. You know, you could bring it in a little bit, something like that. Uh, but again, you and then it will slide in and lock up. Your jeweler will cut some of that away, uh, so that the box class fits in there a lot better. Uh, and you're, you're good to go. And you have a, uh hidden box class chain Cuban chain yeah but again uh, last thing you you don't want to make these class but you can order them uh, uh, unless you're going to have the jeweler make them I mean what I mean is don't print them <laughs> there uh, it's it's not worth it really it's it's just really not you can just buy them much much easier much much cheaper made to size and they're real easy to attach uh, and actually, your jeweler can make these very, very easily. Uh, so, uh, hope that video helps. If you're really just looking for the Cuban chain, again, it's just one link. It's all you need, uh, and, and you're good to go. Wow, what happened there? I did something. Uh, so, hopefully that kind of helps you. Uh, if so, please let me know. If you need more explanation or more understanding, uh, just, just drop me a line, and uh, I'll try to do the best I can. But thanks for watching. Hope the video helps.